Verena described her new Baptist plan like a legit baptism. She said if I took certain actions, it could be kind of a rebirth. If a rebirth meant I'd finally fit into that dress, fine. The new Baptist plan is kind of the deprogramming from beauty industry thinking. So it's this five-step program where Verena has Plum do all these tasks, and that leads Plum down this sort of rabbit hole. The whole experience, the reason it backfires so much is that this is the first time she's attempted to be bangable, to do all of the things that we expect women to do. And she tries them, and it's a failure, and it reinforces the belief that the only way out is to have an entirely different body. Marlo does like to throw our girls in the deep end. <laughs> Didn't you know what she's going to make me do? Isn't that your plan? Mm -hmm. I am the curator of the plan. You could call it manipulative to put somebody through a set of experiences no matter what especially if you're paying them to agree to go through a set of experiences. Arguably, Marina's playing with people's lives a little too much, maybe, like their chess pieces. Stop trying to conform to the extent that you undermine your potential to make a difference. You conform? Look at you, you're so pretty, you have acolytes. And I thought a lot about second wave feminism and the charges that it was very much about white upper class women, that it was not inclusive. So I think that absolutely it's suspect and I, I recognize that I don't have the same experience as other people. But I think that too often we tend to silo each other and say just because you don't look like me, you can't understand. But nobody knows my story. so. I think that yes, Plum has every reason to feel like she doesn't get it, but we try to poke away at that a little bit, you know, and say like, yeah, there's more to Verena's story than you understand. How are my girls? What's on their minds? Some anxiety about Jennifer. Well, that's to be expected. Terrible. Actually, most of them are in favor. A fair number of the girls seem exhilarated, empowered, or something like that. Interesting. Kitty gets struck by this movement, and she veers away from it at first because it's wrong. But when she finds out that women are really taking to the idea, she jumps on board. She sees a moment, and she sees profit margins, and so she does what she thinks is best for Kitty. Put this on every women's cover. Daisy chain, Bella Peel, swag rag, the whole Kitty caboodle. Kitty definitely calls herself a feminist. Kitty, I think, would call herself anything as long as she was on top. So if that means being a feminist, she'll be a feminist. This Jennifer thing. Jennifer who? The organization. Terrorist, you mean? One man's terrorist is another woman's liberator, Stanley. I think she discovers that being a feminist can be a tool. Just tell me what you want to do. It's already done. We're publishing the manifesto on the cover of every girls and women's magazine in your catalog. Trust me, they're going to fly off the shelves.